The control hide in range function allows us to set this on a container and then hide that container if it falls in a certain range or variables of numbers. So to set this up, I'm gonna drag a group down here. And again, this is just gonna be our main group. So I'm just gonna type in main here. I'm gonna throw everything else into this group. So I'm gonna go back into my global primitives and I'm just gonna drag two objects down here. I'll use a cube and a cylinder and I have two colors in my favorites. So I'll just drag these down here and I'll quickly just separate these out. Now I'm going to go back into my control folder and I'm going to grab this hide in range function and I'm just going to drag this onto the cylinder. I'm going to click on the hide in range function and when I'm in the editor it gives us again our field identifier. I'm just going to leave this one at one the description since I dropped it on the cylinder container picked up that name so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now we have an input value here that we can adjust so I'm just going to type in one and this input value is what the trio operator or graphic operator will see. We can also set a lower range bound, which is set to negative 10 by default. I'm just gonna set this to one, and we also have an upper range bound. I'm gonna set this to two. We can set the visibility in range. So do we want to hide this or show this when it's in this range? So the visibility, I'm gonna hit to hide. If it falls in this certain range, then this cylinder should be hidden. So I'm gonna save this scene and we're gonna go into Trio and test this out. So once in Trio, I'm gonna to come to the import scenes here and navigate to where I have my scene. And here's our control hide on range. And to import it this time, I'm just gonna click on it and drag it left into our scene window. I'm gonna come over to the scene window and double click on it. And now here in our tab field, you can see we have our first field identifier. And when I go up into the editing window, we have our input value that we set, which was one. And right now our cylinder is hidden. So if I adjust this to zero or any other number, it's going to show this cylinder. Now we set between one and two that it will be hidden. So in between the range of one and two, this cylinder is hidden. So this control hide and range is a way to set numerical values to hide particular containers.